doing a little video on how to remove or replace, see if I can do this one hand, your Pro Charger impeller. Now, this one is just stock and I want to upgrade it. So, first thing first, get your Pro Charger out of the vehicle, get it all broke down like this. No bolt in the shaft, the turbo housing is off. Find a little box or something to prop it up on. Get it put in there like that. Next thing you want to do is take out all these bolts here. Remove this side of the case. And I'll show you what's next. It's taken out all the way around here. Dipstick's out. Oil's been drained. All that stuff prior to doing this step. Uh, you want to caref carefully just wiggle it up off of here. And you don't want to be putting screwdrivers or anything in here like this. Prying it because what you do is you will hurt the mating surface and it'll always leak oil. So what I did is I tapped right here on the side of this little uh, cereal stamp, just barely tapped on that with a little uh, like screwdriver and rubber mallet. And then over here, prior looks like Pro Charger or somebody's already been in there. So there was a little bit of a gap and I was able to uh, tap right here. Do it evenly, should come up really easy. And then, Basically lift it off, just like so. You'll expose all the internals, put this aside somewhere safe. And now you have main drive, you know, intermediate shaft and, uh, or no, excuse me. This is the, uh, yeah, main pulley drive. This is the super, I mean the uh, turbo impeller shaft. And this is the oiler, I guess. So what we have to do now is remove this shaft out of here by going down with it to get the impeller out so we can press it off and then put the new one on. So, yep, and I'll show you what's next. Okay, so once you get it to our part, open it up, you'll see basically this. Um, this bearing is not a press-on bearing, so you can just wiggle it off. I have it just sitting on here because I already took it off. But basically, you just got to wiggle it, and it'll slowly come up. It's real tight, but you just got to work it and get it off there. So get that one off. Same with the, the oil ring. Same thing. Just pull it and just wiggle it. It comes right out of there. It's not a press fit, anything like that. <clears throat> then also this one, same thing. It's not a press fit. Just pull it up. It'll pop out of there. Either the bearing, yeah, bearing will come out. I don't think it'll come off the shaft, but... Bearing come out of there, take that, put it aside also. And there is a C-clip that sits in here. I already took it out. We basically pop that C-clip off. Then you are ready to press everything off. Make sure the bolt is off the impeller. And just make sure you get some kind of device. Uh, me, I'm running with a collar here. And then a big spacer that I'm gonna throw on here basically just allows it for the shaft to pop through. So do that, get it all kind of set up and then flip this thing over and put it onto a press like I got over there. And I'll show you here in a second. So I'm gonna situate that. And then situate this and I'll show you the next step. So the next thing, get this set up. I've got a nice little adapter I'm going to use to push down with uh, to get it going. Got that all set up. So it's pushing on the aluminum. You don't want to actually push on the bearing. You want to push on the plate because all the surface area of this impeller is on this plate. So you want to just even the load out and put it up onto this plate here and then push it through and that will come off. What you want to do is get map gas like this and heat up this impeller all around here. You know, make sure this gets really, really hot. Uh, you know, don't go too crazy and melt it. Um, you'd have to really go pretty hard to do it, but let's get this really hot. As soon as it's hot, press it out. And then just like that, it's already starting to go. You can see it moving down. Just keep going. And just like that, she's free. So remember, really hot, get it heated up. Make sure you guys support it just right. Make sure this is really hot. Push it right down. 
comes right out. Your impeller off if you're doing an impeller swap like I am or whatever, but I do suggest that you get these two bearings that are on this shaft that comes out of the impeller because when I pulled, this one stayed together, but I'm just gonna replace it anyway. But when I pushed the impeller shaft out, this bearing fell apart and they, they come apart really easy. And I put it back together and it feels really good, but I don't trust it. So I ordered some new ones. So uh, I suggest if you're in a bind and need to have it done same day, keep these or order these ahead of time just in case. And that way you can have it all ready to go. But thanks for watching the video and uh, hopefully it helped.